Today we are um, doing the punch biopsy to um, see whether the patient have uh, small nerve fiber uh, damage. Uh, his uh, pseudo scan was positive and now we are trying to establish the severity of the condition. Is it mild, moderate, or, 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 or advanced? So uh, first let's focus on this. We have a kit. Uh, I have a uh, local or topical anesthesia, ethyl chloride for um, numbing the superficial layer. I have a preservative uh, which came along with the kit and it is uh, to transport the specimen. So we will make it a little loose so that we can open it easily when it's necessary. We have uh, this small uh, blue kit. I'm going to open that. It have, uh, has a uh, punch biopsy uh, tool and a small forcep and a scissor to cut the um, pedicle of the uh, specimen. We have a circular bandaid to cover it after we have um, established a, a hemostasis as well. And there's no active bleeding. We can always cover it back and this is to clean the area properly. It's a uh, iodine pad and a alcohol wipe. So uh, I'm going to focus on uh, the area. Um, this area should be uh, cleaned properly. Um, uh, ask the patient to take a shower coming before coming for the procedure. Um, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> and then, um, you know, I'll try to use a, um, a razor to clean up the skin. Even if there are no hairs, it's a good idea to um, use that uh, razor to uh, get rid of the small uh, blonde hairs if they are, are there. In this case, I see no uh, necessity for doing it. Um, however, um, sometimes you can miss those small uh, fine hairs. Um, take a, a, a razor and kind of softly without damaging the skin, um, clean it. Um, then you need to use alcohol wipe and clean it properly with a circular movement, starting from the center and going to the periphery, not to return to the center again. Um, I'll do it one more time. <coughs> Same way, I'll start from the center and then work your way out and don't come to the center again. Now, make sure it is dry before you proceed. Um, uh, I will uh, numb the area with a topical uh, or the uh, topical anesthetic. It's the ethyl chloride, just a little bit. That will numb the, the superficial skin. And then I'm going to use 1% lidocaine with the insulin syringe. The needle is about um, 30 um, gauge, so would not hurt the patient so well, after, especially after using the ethyl chloride. Uh, so go at uh, 15 to 30 degree with the Breville up. And see, patient did not move, so we know that it's not that painful. And make a small blep. See, it is coming up. It is a raised area, a, a bulb or a blep. Now, take it, take it out and clean it again with a swab, and then uh, use your punch biopsy forcep uh, perpendicular to the skin, and go and make the circular movement unless you um, until you feel no resistance. Once you feel no resistance, you know that you have taken the part of the epi, uh, the dermis as well. Use your forcep and and gently uh, and take your scissors and gently lift it and go to the pedicle and cut the pedicle and then transport the specimen into that small. Um, tube 
this is the remaining part of uh, the lesion. See, there is very little bleeding. Um, uh, this small slight oozing, you can use a Q-tip and a ferrous sulfate. Ferrous sulfate is to, uh, is an astringent. Ferrous sulfate is, is an astringent which will precipitate the superficial protein and will stop any small oozing. So with the sliding movement, just um, go back and forth. I may stop a little bit in the center and then do it this again and wipe off the extra ferrous sulfate and make sure it's dry and there is no bleeding. If there is a bleeding, if there's a bleeding, as you see in this area, there is still a small bubble uh, is coming. That means you need to reapply that. Sometimes bleeding takes a while to get under control. So I'm going to do it again. Same thing. Again, slowly and um, gradually. Uh, try you give it time to clot properly before you discharge the patient and wipe off the extra make it just make sure it's dry uh, take a second look make sure there is no bleeding and now you see there is no active bleeding now you're comfortable in covering up with it uh, with a circular bandaid There is no aftercare for it. Uh, patient just needs to take it off after 24 to 48 hours, and uh, it will heal spontaneously without any problem. If there is a bleeding or any uh, trickling of the blood, patient can always call us back um, to make sure that we have, sometimes very rarely, I would say less than 1%, you need one stitch, and you have to use that stitch, just use the three um, silk, and give the one stitch in the center and that will approximate the two edges and there won't be any bleeding at all. So very safe, very smooth. Um, it is done quite easily in an office setting and, uh, with, and it gives so much advantage um, in getting the results and treating the patient properly for the neuropathy or whatever they have.